Welcome to From Attendance to Performance, Spectatorship, Liveness, and the Emergence of Live Cinema. Cinema is moving towards unfamiliar terrain, but not without holding on to its identity. Its intent is to sketch out a framework of transformation in an ever-changing cinematic landscape, a landscape which recognizes its genealogy from analog to digital, from attending witness to intervention upon the object of vision, environment, and ourselves. Cinema has long established an encounter which addresses spectatorial experience, but now may no longer require the form of time, space, and agency to produce a narrative. The combination of sounds and moving images that give credibility to here and now, but also relate to me, the spectator. Scholar and artist Anna Laura Alafuoko, in her published essay, A Live Performance, Toward an Immersive Activist Philosophy, says that the event of the performance foregrounds the work of the unconscious on real and imaginary times and spaces, curating a sustained ongoingness that unfolds an affective experience in presence and as present in the here and now. The shift from strictly an attendance place to a performance space is found in cinema's emphasis towards liveness, a concept which delves into bodily presence, temporality, affect, mediatization, the phenomenon of live cinema, an emerging genre within media art that merges experimental approaches to narrative and non-narrative moving image making with aspects of performance and live cinema. An example of this type of cinematic work is Last and First Men by the late Icelandic composer and first-time director Johan Johansson, a live cinema performance that combines film, narration by actress Tilda Swinton, and a live score from Johansson and the BBC Philharmonic. Last and First Men, a multimedia work which stands as proof to a contemporary live cinematic experience. The objective to my research is to give particular attention to the role of spectatorship in the current cinematic topography. A spectator is unknown, unlimited, and undefinable in mass. However, individually, every spectator is unique from one another. A spectatorial experience is disparate due to a few characteristics. The structure of characteristics is fashioned by the way a spectator was raised, where they were born, life experiences, and social affiliation. The pliancy of a spectator is what makes their position in the cinematic landscape malleable. Based on practices of affect, modalities, and conditions of vision, a cinematic spectator becomes an active participant. It is the foundation of active participation which notes the transition from spectatorial attendance to spectatorial performance. The theoretical framework investigates the emergence of live cinema, the spectatorial experience, and the act of liveness in a real-time performance space. The foundation of my research and personal artistic practice in live cinema considers the journey of the spectator during a live cinema performance and the movement towards liveness through the agency of engagement, convergence, and communicative exchanges of images, sounds, temporality, process, encounter, and mobility. The epistemological approach to the cinematic methods of the 21st century spectator calls for a new criterion to comprehend its growing expansion in the field of media arts. Upon closer examination, the framework of liveness in a real-time fractal environment considers how it contributes to the discourse surrounding contemporary cinema and influence found in performative practices. Liveness is physical. It is temporal. It is ephemeral. It commands real, tangible elements within a performance space. The experience of liveness can be summarized in four components. It consists of presence, simultaneity, risk, and spectatorial impact. For liveness to be enacted, the physical presence of performer and spectator is required. Their physical presence provides authenticity to a lived experience, thus liveness is evoked. This action specifies an occurrence happening at a specific moment, Thirdly, risk becomes involved, setting off an outcome with no guarantees. The performance does not promise similar outcomes for each engagement. There are varying differences for each performance. Lastly, spectatorial impact has significance to the entire performance, especially reactions, which can be affective or outwardly embodied. These are concrete components that situate liveness within the performative space. According to David Fodel, Liveness falls along a continuum that, on one end, relates to cinema, where a passive and disembodied audience sits and watches a presentation of sound and image fixed in its content, 
to the other extreme where it is clear that a living performer is acting out some sequence of embodied motion, which can be directly mapped to sound and images unfolding within a fixed or variable space and with the active participation of the audience. The shifting modes of reception in, in part function through human agency of presence, feedback, and spectator influence. It is within these shifting modes, according to Alain Foucault, where, which lies folds of situation at the limits of signification and interpretation. These creative acts demands us not to contemplate images, but to harness sensations. Far more important in a live cinema framework is the informative exchange between spectator and performer. It is within a communicative network or transaction which separates live cinema from the classic cinematic dispositif. To dismantle and reconfigure the elements of the traditional apparatus, according to Holly Willis, is to craft an event that straddles the boundary between mediated experience and live performance. Live cinema, a form of real-time sonic and ocular performances, is a genre which thrives on the concept of liveness. The real-time performance consists of non-repeatable actions which shifts the spectator from traditional cinematic spaces to displacement in fragmented places. The architectural framework within this genre is successful due to the incorporation and understanding for live, liveness in the performance space. Moving beyond traditional cinema, which relies heavily on montage, pacing, editing, and linear narratives, live cinema is a conduit for communicative exchanges between performer and spectator, done with the fragmentation or random access of images, sounds, and temporality. The live cinema spectator resides in a fragmented space to enact contact, experience, suspension of time, space, and to arrange an encounter with performer and fractured narrative elements. At this juncture of convergence and engagement, spectator and performer enter a sustained position of contact via an interplay of affective communication, but also form an alliance of internal transformation by way of liveness. According to Thomas L. Cesser, the performance helps to imply connectivity and interrelatedness and points to the materiality of place and location of a network or relations connecting production sites to exhibition sites, mindful of the mobility, modes of transmissions, and nodes of intersection that enable spectators to carry with them this internalized idea and experience of cinema across different screens and viewing conditions. Cinema affords the spectator possibilities in immersion, mobility, encounter, transition, and modification. Its ability to relocate and redefine its identity in other environments and dispositifs is recognized by its ability to also remain the same. Cinema today seeks out new terrain to look inward and searches to locate original and unexpressed positions. Presentation and performance spaces can be living rooms, gallery spaces, media devices, public centers, or they can engage new media. An encounter of the contemporary spectatorial experience built on bodily cognition and proprioception in cinema challenges the traditional cinematic apparatus. It considers the fractal, transforming cinematic performance space. A spectatorial experience consists of distinct characteristics which structure social environments and life occurrences. It is a malleable experience of influence over approach, affect, and methods of perception. These methods and characteristics are what produce an active cinematic spectator, moving beyond idle patron to establishment of engaged performer. In this mode of transformation exists liveness. Cinematic spectatorship, located in fractal performance spaces, is a construct of culturally and semantically fraught exterior points of embodiment, synergy, and connection. It is the actions of spectator and performer who invoke liveness, preserving the modes, methods, and futures of cinema by way of flexibility in a social framework of reinvention. Far beyond concrete establishment, temporal coordinates, and spatial borders rest a spectatorial experience of fluidity, systems of interaction, bodily consciousness, and social encounters. Contemporary cinema is a place that affords the performer and the spectatorial experience a space to permit a process of liveness to unfold. Thank you.